A Buncombe County Child Care Center shuts down without warning. News 13's Rex Hodge is streaming live in Asheville where parents were left in a jam. Parents showed up at the Empowered Child this morning here in Asheville to drop off their kids, but what they ran into when they got here were curtains closed and a closed sign. So we came by this morning, we saw the sign, and we're just not able to get our stuff out. The sign Shannon Hance saw was this one. The Empowered Child is closed, effective July 31st. Thank you for your love and support. The phone number disconnected. The number you dialed has been changed, disconnected, or is no longer in service. But Facebook postings indicating nothing unusual. For a year, Hans brought her two young boys to the child care center in the back of Asheville's Westgate Shopping Center. This is Alex. Hi, Alex. Can you say hi? Hi. Caught off guard. Yes. <laughs> Hans had to quickly rearrange her day. We went to the Y this morning, and they're going to try to squeeze him in. He's four, but his older brother, there's no spot for him until the end of August. Hans says she had heard rumors the child care center may close. The main person and then some, some of the teachers decided to buy in. A few weeks ago, we got a letter about it, and everybody was really excited because it was going to be kind of more of a co-op. Instead, it closed abruptly, upsetting a family's comfortable routine. We've had great teachers, and that's the hardest part is they don't get to see their teachers. Tell me who your favorite teacher is. Who? Miss Carmen. Miss Carmen. A quick closure prompting this statement from the shopping center owner. This is a surprise to us as well. We were understood they were going to continue operations there. Hans says parents are uniting to help each other. But overall, I mean, it's put a lot of people in a bind. Now, I tried to contact the owner today by phone, by email, and in person, but so far I have received no comment from her. I did hear from the Department of Health and Human Services about 30, 40 minutes ago, and they tell me the owner, Lisa Mangiardi, just decided to shut things down, but to their knowledge hasn't done anything wrong. Now, the department tells me for parents who receive a subsidy to bring their kids to a place like this, they can go through Buncombe County DSS to find another place to bring their kids, and for parents who pay privately, they can go to an organization called Smart Start of Buncombe County to find a referral to bring their kids to another place. Reporting live tonight from Asheville, Rex Hodge, News 13.